Hi everybody, I'm Justin and I'm here to demonstrate to you the concept art brush pack for Painter and Particle Shop. As you can see on this key image, there are lots of effect brushes that you can add to your picture. And before you judge, I know it's a lot of effects that you probably wouldn't, you probably wouldn't nearly use as many. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at before and after. I'm gonna turn this layer, oh, it's actually this layer. I'm gonna turn that on and off. So you can see that these are kind of for an after effect for your painting. And a lot of these are fun, uh, very, uh, I don't know how to say the word right, calligraphic kind of brushes. Uh, they're brushes to add a calligraphy to what's already kind of there. So, so kind of to add some adventure, you can kind of see the basis of what these do but let's go ahead and go down this just like we always do go down the list and I'm going to show you guys individually what each brush does so you know what is in this very fun pack so we're going to start off with atmosphere and atmosphere is something that I think every fundamental brush pack needs something you can select color and as it applies to the style of the brush pack you're getting you're going to be having something that you can push and pull the atmosphere back with. Let's say I just want to push the just the back of this log back. That gives us some atmosphere. Let's keep that there just because it's kind of pretty. Um, we're going to go next to the next one, brush. This one is fun because it's something that's bold and graphical. So you can, if you're in Painter, you can choose which paper up here, okay? So you can choose maybe small dots. I'm going to select this and you can kind of see it's got a nice bold and fun look to it and you can add whatever kind of fun and bold graphical calligraphy to your work. Uh, if you go around the actual brushes and painter, it's hard to find something that actually acts like that unless that you makes it, make it and by the time you tweak it, you're going to get this brush. Uh, so let's see here. Let's go to the next one. Charge. This one is fun. It's pretty cliche concept art kind of um, electricity, but it's fun. It's it you know applies in the direction of, of your pen a little bit. Uh, it goes back and forth. It's a little bit of a pattern to it, but it is also it, it's not too redundant. You can add this to, as you could probably imagine, many different things. It doesn't apply to this scene very well though. Let's go to, I'm sorry, it's hard for me. Oh, there we go. Creative. This one is fun to start out with by itself. So let's pretend we're on a new canvas, okay? You're not seeing this picture. This one has got some fun shape variation to it. And if I keep going back and forth, in fact, let's turn Let's do that. If I keep going back and forth between this, I'm gonna select a white. I could create some pretty cool ideas just with this by itself. And this is gonna help you sometimes when you start a canvas, I'm getting a little carried away here. Uh, sometimes when you start a canvas, you have no idea what, what is gonna happen and you're not gonna come up with something very quickly uh, until you put that pen to the paper or in this case your Wacom or your graphics tablet and that is a perfect brush to do that um, even if it's on an existing painting you've already got going. So let's look at the electric brush here and this one is kind of fun it's just kind of let's go over this lighter area we can add it's not even necessarily electric just a little spark that you could use this for guns, metal, you could use this for reflective instances uh, really just a fun electric kind of spark, uh, hence its name. Let's go to fire and this one is a very bold brush, but it, you, the intention of it is to use it softly. So let's pick something a little lighter and you can kind of see how that would apply to something heat wise or temperature wise it's a fun way of adding kind of a heated effect over here there we go oh it's on 20 percent opacity oh I, I did do that on purpose yeah you're going to want to use this one softer because you can see how it's 
how it layers up and makes kind of a fun build. You can imagine what kind of things you could do with that with a picture. Let's actually go ahead and get rid of that layer and start fresh here. Let's go to flare. This one is also fun. It goes with atmosphere, but it's got a glow to it. So let's put a flare back here in this forest here. This you can add to the top part of your of your picture. If you ever watch a movie and there's a solar flare coming from the corner, this has got a nice texture to it to keep it within painter's realm of painterly brushes. Uh, however, it's still got that nice, subtle, glowy light to it that you would use in a cinematic kind of effect. Uh, let's go to the next one. I wish there was like a bookmark I could keep over here. Mystic. This one is a fun brush. You probably noticed it when we first opened the key image. And let's p pick a, like, a nice mystical color. And one thing you can do with this is this can like kind of show off contours. You can kind of undo and redo. And I can make this, these strokes, and then I can back out and like I'm going to keep these right here or I'm going to soften this up and kind of choose how what the outcome is and that's kind of cool and then you can go let's say you want to adjust the colors even black and white or whatever uh, it's kind of neat because you can add this mystical linear uh, effect to your work uh, and and really not do much. You didn't have to think very much at all. So you can do that very quickly. Where am I here? Oh. All right, paint. This one's really fun. Uh, a lot of times we lose like a, a painterly effect depending on what brushes we use. And this is a good way of just going around and adding some natural splatters. You can kind of, even if I were to take like a primary color of some kind and just splatter that on it's so tiny but expressive you can really oops you can really add it to anything kind of neat to and to play with i can get really carried away with some of these so let's move on to puddle this one is a little addictive for me uh, i was also playing with this one earlier and you can take this and run it along the edge of any kind of river and then go in and out. And the smaller you go, I kind of feel the little, you kind of get success in the details. You kind of have to have a sense of painterly in this. And the more you do, you can kind of add it up. That's something fun to add some expression to your river if you're, if you're like me and you, you can kind of see by this painting, I struggle with water. So let's go ahead to the next one here, Sparkle. So this one, actually, let's keep all that stuff because I can. This one applies to this brush. I can add a little sparkle here, a little spark, sparkle there, and those are very expressive. I, it's, you almost have to be kind of gem, gentle with those. Let's add some. This one is very fun. In the key image, what I did was I selected some colors here and I just kind of threw them around and it kind of helps add whatever kind of speedy calligraphy you want. You, this could apply to a lot of things. And let's look at static here. Static is really fun. It's a, a color, kind of a colorless brush and its intention is to have a low opacity and any kind of point that you have that's just too soft but you need a little static over it. So let's look at this dark area. You're not supposed to have areas that are that dark, so they say. So let's just add a little static over it. Uh, just a little gray expression and all we did was add it in that one area. So you can go over whatever area and kind of pick and choose. Maybe this area is too dark or too soft and you can add that nice just static. Let's go over Turbulence. This one is really fun. It's like one of the atmosphere brushes. However, it's got some nice cool waves to it. 
which you don't always want to use. You're going to want to use this one big. And this one kind of shows maybe in a cave opening or something. Just some expressive air coming in and down. And then we've got last but not least. This one is not as applicable to this image, but this one is zip. And so if you've got, maybe we've got a green superhero, superhero, excuse me, zooming across here or some kind of light that you want to add motion to, you can go through different opacities. I'm using my keyboard one through zero to play with the opacity right now. But you can kind of see the different opacities of how this zip could be useful to any of your concept art images. Anyways, guys, that is all of the brushes for the concept art for Painter and Particle Shop. It has five more brushes than the one for Painter Essentials. Uh, just for clarification, I'm really excited to see what got what you guys use uh, these brushes for and what you guys come up with. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you around the internet.